Good morning. It is our last day, sadly, in Seoul. Today we're heading two hours south to Busan. So we're going to jump on the KTX bullet train shortly. We've got about two minutes to get out of here. Are you almost done? Just doing the final sweep to make sure we've got everything and I haven't left any of our stuff behind. I think we're good. <laughs> we've had such a good time here in Seoul. We've actually been here for about a week. Um, but yes, time to head to the coast and get some sun. This is a time that we have to be pretty accurate with our train stations. <laughs> Sometimes we just wing it and hope for the best and we, it usually turns out fine, but when we need to get a connecting train, it's always good to know exactly where you're going. I reckon also every time we're in a city, we have no issue with the public transport other than the day we need to catch a plane, train or boat yep. to leave that city or country, we always have issues. Oh my god, that happened I don't know why. in a few times, yep. notably Berlin. Berlin. We were in Berlin for like over, a, no, two weeks. Yep. No problem using the public transport there every single day, multiple times a day. The one day that we had to get to the airport, our brains froze and we couldn't work out how to get to the train station, yep. what platform to get on. Something happened and we ended up paying stupid amounts of money to get in an yeah, Uber. A $60 Uber 60 compared Euro. to a 60 no, it was 40 euro. So $60 uh, uh, Uber compared to a six dollar train. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. But I think we're in the right spot. The train for Chinta is approaching. Economy ticket. I think it was around 70 Australian dollars each from the ProRail.com website, and we are on cart 12. So I don't think it's anything fancy. We're not expecting anything fancy. We do have allocated seats. We do, and I'm just gonna find what our seat numbers are 12C and 12D. So hopefully they're not going backwards and they're all going forwards. So we both get a bit sick. Yes, I got sandwiches and little donut bites. The train's only two and a half hours, but we haven't had breakfast, so this will be delicious. I don't know what I was expecting. This is so much nicer than what I was thinking it would be. So comfy. All right, so some of the seat functions, you've got to recline. It kind of feels like, oh, that goes back yeah, so much. Further. Reclines a lot. It's kind of like an economy plane seat, do you reckon? I don't know, it's quite squishy, so I'm more like premium economy. Yeah, it's really comfortable. Tray table is massive. I did not think it would be this big. It's got a really comfortable footrest, apparently, Steve said. But my long legs, you can't use a footrest and the tray table at the same time. Oh no. Because my knees <laughs> lift it up. Um, you've got power here, USB chargers. There are TVs up on the roof of the train and there's little volume buttons on the side here, so I don't know how to work those, but I don't know, I don't really care. We either. might get headphones when we set off, we might not. And also lights up here, but we won't be needing those because it's midday. There's also lots of storage on this train. At the front there is bag racks for your larger bags, and up above us is room for backpacks or smaller carry-on, which is really nice. We've actually been on a lot of trains that have no room for larger bags. It's so busy as well. These trains, when I was booking, you could choose like an option every hour almost or every 30 to 40 minutes. They run so frequently to, well, this specific one from Seoul to Busan, um, but this one's packed. Yeah, there's a lot of people going down to Busan today, but we're super happy with this and yeah, I'm sure that it'll be a very comfortable trip down to Busan. <laughs> And the train also has a Wi-Fi. <laughs> and it actually works. We've travelled a lot of buses too that have Wi-Fi. None of it works. No. Flix bus. Yeah, we can watch YouTube now. Alright, 
lunchtime, I just picked up a couple of ham and salad sandwiches from Dunkin' Donut and got some of these. when, especially on travel days, um, I'm watching the awkward flight attendant Kelly, um, she also does the awkward tour, so I really like her, um, yes, I'm watching her late as well. So two hours and 45 minutes here, we're finally in Busan. We've got to change trains here at the Busan train station and get on another one hour train down to Hyundai Beach. Bus. So, bus, sorry, to Hyundai Beach. Oh, I can already feel that heat. So much warmer here. It's 25 yes. today, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I think it's 25 degrees and I'm excited for the beach. And then that was about one hour and a little bit and I was cooped up under all the luggage. I'm excited to be out of that bus and been able to stretch a little bit. <gasps> that was a horrible bus though. Probably one of the worst. Normally the buses have standing areas or like pram or disabled areas. That one had nothing, it was just seats. Christy was crammed in one of the seats with all our bags. I wasn't that uncomfortable though, despite what it looked like, I was quite cozy. We did get a glimpse of the beach and the beach looks pretty stunning oh here. Oh my god, so I don't know if I mentioned, we're in Hyundai Beach, we're staying in that area for the next week and as Steve just said it looks amazing. So we will be shooting a video here for you guys to see, um, but this one is just pretty much the bullet train and we might yeah. go out later and grab some dinner. Get some fried chicken. This week going on about fried chicken all day and we're just coming off the back of the market video in Seoul so we ate lots of unhealthy food there. But you've so. got to eat fried chicken in South Korea so oh. fried chicken and beer tonight. Uh, we'll see. Let's go check it in my Airbnb. <laughs> Room to a time. This is so cool this place. So bright and it's literally on the beach. Well kind of a little bit back off the beach but we have ocean views so bathroom. Very cool. Nice big shower. It's been a while since we've had a big shower. I know, isn't it? The rooms here are quite small. Actually, Korea's bigger than Japan, I must say. Kitchen and washing machine. So yeah, yes. we definitely appreciate a washing machine when it's in an Airbnb. We'll definitely be using that. We've got two beds and the best part, obviously, is the view. You can even see the ocean just out there. Yeah, that's beautiful Hyundai, Hyundai Beach. The only reason that I remember how to say that is I just think of the car because it was made here. Hyundai, what was the other big career brand? LG, Kia, Kia not Tesla. There's uh, I don't know. Anyway, but this is our Airbnb. I think the best thing about the Airbnb is we can open this window here and we can actually hear the ocean. You can hear it and you can just smell that yep. sea breeze, which we've been craving for the last however long that we've been in Japan and Korea. This is a really nice break from the city, so we're excited. I think we're going to maybe put down the camera and yep. go out for dinner a little bit later. Mm -hmm. And we'll take you with us. All right, see you soon. So just quickly, before we put the camera down, I was doing some research while we were on the bullet train from Seoul to Busan, and that train runs about 60 to 65 services every single day. I could not believe that, and it was between 10 and 45 minute intervals. We're happy to be here, we'll see you for dinner.
All right, so we didn't end up going out for dinner. We ended up just getting takeaway. Christy didn't want fried chicken, so I she grabbed some convenience store stuff. I grabbed a, I love these gimbaps. They're just like big sushi, so just a tuna kimchi, so good. I've already had a sushi triangle. I love them as well. Why don't you show everyone what you I got? ended up going for the fried chicken, and I was upsold again, but not knowing this is what I got. There's so much there. You don't even know what's oh, there's so even good. There's even Pepsi in there. I didn't even ask for Pepsi. So I just asked for one thing of chicken and a thing of small chips. And this is what we got. <laughs> you got a family of four meal right there. I'm excited. I'm going to open it. Let's open it up and see what we got. <laughs> yeah. So this is the first box of three. I only wanted one box of this much chicken. But there's one, <laughs> two, three, plus some sides Don't get your Pepsi. and the Pepsi that I didn't order. Maybe that was just complimentary. This is a different chicken. This one's like a honey soy, or sorry, honey. That's a chili, and this looks like a soy or something. Yeah, it looks like a honey soy. So it looks like we've got fried chicken for the next three days. It looks really good there. Side note. Let's try and get through some of this. And we're gonna be up. So we had a really great day traveling from Seoul down here to Busan on the KTX. I'd highly recommend that, it was super comfortable. It wasn't really cheap, as we said, it was 70 Australian dollars per person. Cheaper but, than a flight though, I guess. Yeah, and um, yeah, it was great, it was really comfortable, but I think we're going to close this video off here. Yep, we're gonna finish walking along this beach because yep. it is absolutely stunning. It is. Sun setting behind us, yep. we've still got a bag full of chicken. Yep. So we'll finish that over the next couple of days. All right, we'll see you next, see you next time, time somewhere on this beach. Bye. Bye.